Let's go uh, to the ground now. We have KCRA 3's Stephanie Lynn. She's going to continue our coverage. She's in Pollock Pines now. So, Stephanie, what's happening there? Yeah, absolutely, Brian, Lisa. We've been catching up with a number of evacuees here on the ground uh, just near the fire zone of the Caldor fire. And we're at the parking lot of a Safeways, a local Safeways here in Pollock Pines at the intersection of Pony Express and Shady Park. And this is where evacuees are coming to pick up a lot of supplies before they hit uh, the road for the long journey towards their next destination. And I want to introduce you to Darby. She also was just asked to evacuate. She's a local to the area. Darby, how are you feeling right now? I'm doing all right. Thank you. I'm 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 glad to be able to evacuate and not be caught in the fire. So um, what was the experience like evacuating for you? In fact, you actually just got a notification yeah. on your phone. I just got the mandatory evacuation notice from the sheriff. Um, before that, I was evacuating because friends had told me to and that it was recommended. Um, but I came to Safeway to get my prescription that I needed before leaving town. So yeah so important to have that on hand. And did you have a go bag packed beforehand with wildfire season just in full swing right now? I wish I could say I was that prepared. I, I brought stuff out of my safe, so I have my important stuff all together in my safe, so I was able to get that. And then I just kind of grabbed um, some things and um, some important artwork that my mom painted for me and something my aunt made for me, and that was pretty much it. Otherwise, I just try to remember that things are things and most of them you can replace. And, you know, what's next for you at this point? So um, I'm going to uh, go to a friend's house and get out of the smoke and kind of wait and see what happens if I can come back to my house. If it gets saved, I'm praying for the firefighters and everyone to, you know, we can save as much as we can. Now you actually grew up in the area. Is this the closest you've come to wildfire? I believe so. There was one um, on the other side of town a few years ago, um, but I think this one's even closer. And um, I'd mentioned my house actually has burned down in 2012, but that wasn't due to a wildfire. So I believe this is the closest that I've been, yes. And how does it feel like having it come so close? Yeah, it's a little scary, honestly, when I um, when my friend texted me this morning saying you need to get out and she'd been evacuated last night. I, it kind of, you know, it takes you by your heart kind of skips a beat for a minute and you think, oh, okay, this is real. I need to move quickly and, and see what I need to get and remember that it's more important for you to leave than for you to get stuff. And you know, do you have any words for your fellow evacuees at this point? Yeah, I just hope everyone stays safe. Please get out before, you know, before firefighters come for you. You know, just get what you need. But main thing is to get your pets and your people and everyone to safety as soon as you can. And I'm praying for everyone to be safe. And us as well. Thank you so much, Darby, for your time. And we're so glad that you're safe and you have your, your valuables in yes, your car. Yes, we're thankful you. too. Thank you so much. Okay, thank, you. thank you. All right. And we do have more information about some evacuation centers. The Red Cross does have an evacuation set up in Cameron Park. And for those of you with large animals that you're trying to evacuate them, you can move them to the Amador County Fairgrounds as well. Reporting live from Pollock Pines, Stephanie Lynn, KCRA 3 News. Yeah, Stephanie, one of the things that Darby said there that yeah. is just so important, and Mark's been trying to make this point as well is we've all we talk all the time about the difference between a warning and, and a mandatory but you know what it, at this point it's it marks like hey just maybe it's just time to go maybe it's just time to go and, yeah. and don't wait for the mandatory just get out of there and it sounds like that's what Darby was already starting to do anyway all right thanks Stephanie